The Chinese call it a tofu drag project, or buildings made out of tofu. It means a badly constructed building or shoddy workmanship, and there are examples of it all over social media. Tofu drag projects could also be a symbol of China today. It might look impressive on the outside, but underneath, it's falling apart. Experts told us that this would be the Chinese century. However, Xi Jinping's China dream is dying, thanks to a series of setbacks on almost every front. 2023 was a bad year for the Chinese government in just about every way. And 2024 does not promise to be much better. Last year was China's worst economically since 1976. A study that the government tried to suppress found that almost one billion Chinese may be living in poverty. There are a lot of things that are going wrong that are fixable, but fundamentally there are more things going wrong that aren't fixable. Josh Bierenbaum at the Foundation for Defense of Democracy says international businesses and capital are continuing to flee China because staying has become too risky. Companies are increasingly seeing the writing on the wall in China. The environment is no longer conducive to uh, open business, going from 100 billion in foreign direct investment to negative 11 billion over the last seven quarters is, is just remarkable. Youth unemployment is so high the government has stopped reporting it. Increasing numbers of youth have given up on the future and are lying flat, which means to be unemployed and unmarried, basically dropping out. China expert Gordon Chang. China is right now in a state of turmoil. There's a sense of gloom which has pervaded Chinese society. People are saying, this society no longer is what I want to live in. China's demographics are in free fall. Last year, for the first time since the 1960s, more Chinese died than were born. By 2040, China is expected to have more elderly than the entire U.S. population, 400 million. You're having a revolution among uh, young women who are turning their backs on society. And so they're saying, look, I'm not getting married. I'm not having kids. I'm just opting out. China's stock markets lost more than $6 trillion in value in three years. China's construction and real estate sector is continuing to crater. On the foreign policy front, China's attempt to intimidate Taiwan before the recent presidential election backfired. Beijing had ramped up incursions into Taiwan's airspace and even launched a missile with a satellite toward Taiwan right before Election Day. The Taiwanese people responded by electing a new president firmly opposed to reunification with the mainland. And this means that Taiwan is moving away from China. Purges in the party leadership in the military suggest Xi fears opposition. Chang believes Xi's only way out is to win a big war. Bierenbaum says without a massive political pivot, China faces a grim future. I would think that in the short term, in the next uh two to four years, they will muddle, and after that, they will implode. Kind of like pieces of Chinese building materials.